so here we are again. What can I say? Well, my last little story was about a poor old man suffering with dementia. Now, I know of another story that would shock you. It's about a poor old boy, lovely old chap he was. Um, no family. So he leaves his house to this well-to-do business brother. And then one day I call on him, this old boy, and he tells me he's all upset and all worried, you know. He's, he's written a will and he don't know why he, he's done it. He's all unsure. So I tell him not to worry about it and to speak to the elders. So he does. Next minute I know, these elders have taken him along to a solicitor to rewrite his will. Um, consequently, the old boy left his house to the two congregations to, to be split. So this one elder who took him along to the solicitors, he must have been the executor because he arranged for a secret ballot for this old boy's house. And you never know what, his daughter got it. His daughter and son-in-law got it for a knockdown price of about 25 grand. When at the time, uh, other elders were complaining that it should have been put on the open market, it would have been about near a 50. But um, this brother who was the executor, he didn't even have to accept the highest bid. So he accepted his daughter's bid. It is all very, very fishy. And um, consequently, two congregations, instead of getting 50,000 quid, only get 25,000 quid. So 50% stolen, really. So got loads of these stories and I know the account servant at the time and he's got all the very fine details. I hope to one day um, interview him and I'm sure he's got loads of stories. All I need to do is to get the time and build up his, you know, he'll do it. As will this other chap who told me all about this old boy. He knows all the details. Anyway, Hope this shot is better because it's taken with my camcorder. The other one I felt weren't so good. So, giving it a try. Back with you soon. Secrets from the Watchtower.